Hello, my name is Maria and this is Matthew, my mascot. In this lesson we are studying subtraction with regrouping. But first we will only study regrouping and then later we will do subtractions with regrouping. The regrouping has to do with this. Let's say we have five tens and three ones. And I'm going to take one of those tens and break it into little cubes, into ones. Okay? Can you see what we will have after that? If I take this here and break it into little cubes, how many tens will we have after that and how many ones? Here's the answer after regrouping. We see we have just four tens left, right? So I'll write four tens. But how many ones now? You see we have ten new ones that came from the ten that was broken down and then we have the three that were there before. So we have thirteen ones. So that is the process of regrouping. This ten, one ten gets regrouped with the ones. It's not anymore with the other tens, it becomes part of ones. Let's do it again. This time I'm using these kinds of symbols, this kind of visual model. This one stick is a ten. So I have seven tens and six ones. If I take one of these tens and break it down into ten little ones, then what will we have? Okay, instead of seven tens, we will have six tens, right? And then what? Instead of six little ones, you know, the one ten gets broken down, so it becomes ten ones. And then I still have the six two. So in total, 16, right? This is the process of regrouping. Let's do it once more, and now this time we will also subtract. After regrouping, we will subtract 17. First we have five tens, two ones. I will take one of those tens and break it down. So I will only have four tens over here, right? Instead of two little dots or ones, I will get ten new ones. And the two are still there, so a total of twelve, right? Now, subtract seventeen. Subtract one ten and seven. So I will subtract or cross out one ten from here and seven of these little dots. And there. So what is left? three tens and five ones, or 35. So this is the process of subtracting with regrouping. Now we're going to do it in a little different way without a visual model. I have six tens, two ones, and I need to subtract two tens, seven ones. And when you think of it, I cannot do that subtraction easily because there's seven ones to take away, I only have two ones. And that is why we need to regroup first. So in regrouping I take one of those tens and break it down. So I am left with five tens. And then instead of two ones I will have ten and two ones or twelve. Okay, now we can subtract over here, 12 minus 7 is 5. In the tens, 5 minus 2, 3. 3 tens, 5 ones, or 35. Let's do it again. 7 tens, 0 ones. Can you do the regrouping? How many tens? How many ones? I'll let Matthew do it this time. And now you check if you got the same as Matthew. Matthew got it right. Thanks, Matthew. Six tens, ten ones. Now subtract. Here, ten minus eight, two. And six minus four is two, two. Two tens, two ones, or twenty-two. Lastly, I want to show you these two problems, these two subtraction problems, as they're usually done when we write the numbers under each other. 62 minus 27. It's the same problem as here. 
6 tenths, 2 ones, and then take away 2 tenths, 7 ones. We already know the answer, it's going to be 35. But I'll show you how it's written, how it's usually done. We think here that 2 minus 7, I cannot do it. From 2 ones, I cannot take away 7 ones. So I will regroup. And instead of 6 tenths, I will have 5 tenths. So I write the 5 there in place of 6. And then instead of 2 ones, I will have 12. Just like what we had here. 5 tenths, 12 ones. And now I subtract, basically ignoring these two numbers that were crossed out. Instead, I use the 12 and 5. 12 minus 7 is 5. 5 minus 2 is 3. Not too difficult, right? Let's do it again. This is the same problem as what we had here. So I guess I can let Matthew do it. Okay. Yep, we start out by crossing out the 7 tens, 0 ones because we are regrouping. And then, like that, we will have now 6 tens and 10 ones. That's the regrouping, okay? Just like it was done here. And then we subtract. 22. Good job, Matthew. And we will study this more in our next lesson. We're all done with this one.